In the first scene of the film, seven individuals are seen waking up in a structure with no memory of how they got there. Spoilers ahead, beware. They have ropes tying their hands and ankles, but they manage to free themselves with each other's assistance. Following a quick introduction, we discovered that Armando is a surgeon, an old man Jose retired from his profession, Simon is a police officer, Teresa works as a flight attendant, and Esteban and Marta, a wealthy business couple, along with their lawyer daughter Lupe, are also there. They concentrated on determining the cause of the kidnapping. The kidnapper stated that he planned to play a game of death with his victims. The regulations are straightforward, no one is allowed to pick for themselves, they must choose who of them dies, and the person who is chosen must consent to die. Only after the victims had chosen a victim to be killed for an hour would they be let to escape. In their frantic attempts to defend themselves, they all let loose their wild selves. Of the seven, Jose was the first to offer to die. He made the decision to leave because he was the eldest member of the group and had seen the kidnappers torment firsthand. Jose thought he deserved to die because of the sins he had committed over his live and felt bad about them. The kidnapper told the strangers that according to the game's rules, they had to select the target and Jose was not allowed to volunteer for the role. Jose was then shot dead. Jose's passing was ineligible for the game because he had chosen to die. The hostages were given hints as time was running out so they could figure out why they were being held captive and make a wise choice of their next victim. None of the remaining six were honest persons, according to the hints. They were all being punished by their common victim because they had all committed crimes. Drug addict Teresa ran over a woman with her automobile. She abandoned her to perish rather than aiding her. Teresa clarified that she had examined the woman's condition before departing. The reason she left was because she was sure the woman would make it. Patricia Vega was the woman, and Armando, the doctor, had a different take on everything. Because he was unable to save her by the time she was taken to the hospital, Armando claimed Teresa was to blame for her demise. Teresa was not prepared to accept responsibility, despite his encouragement for the group to vote for her execution. The kidnapper played an audio clip of a nurse who said that Armando killed Patricia because of a mistake he made in the OT. Armando attempted to express his feelings after the truth was exposed. He acknowledged his error and said that he was a human being. He made a few errors in judgment throughout his life, but he always atoned for them by saving many more. He truly had no choice because it was an inherent aspect of his line of work. They now knew who was responsible, but they were having trouble deciding who to vote for next. Pablo Vega took the victim hostage. Pablo was a notorious criminal who was infamous for killing dishonest politicians, judges, and prosecutors. For a long time, Simon had been trying to catch up with Pablo, the sadist killer, but without success. He could do anything to punish his victims since he was a brutal person. When Simon once came within inches of killing Pablo but decided to kill his fiancée instead, he came to the conclusion that Pablo had been abducted for that reason. When Patricia, Pablo's mother, was pronounced dead following the collision, it was obvious that Pablo could not pardon Teresa and Armando for their errors. Later, Marta explained that Patricia had been their housekeeper but had quit due to her pregnancy. The motive for Esteban's kidnapping was not immediately made clear, despite the fact that there was a relationship between Pablo and Esteban. Esteban believed that he and his family would be able to keep their secret, but Pablo intended to make sure that they would also be punished. Patricia appeared in a photo taken in Paris with Marta and Esteban. As his aunt and uncle, Pablo identified Marta and Esteban in the caption. At first, Armando didn't believe Pablo was Esteban and Patricia's child, but after seeing the photo, it was clear he was Marta's sibling's child. The startling information completely caught Lupe off guard because she was unaware that her mother had a sister by the name of Ophelia. Simon looked for further hints to fill in the puzzle while Marta steadfastly refused to reveal any information about her hidden sister. Marta understood that there was no use in concealing the truth once Simon saw a photo that said Pablo was born in a mental hospital. 
Ophelia was her older sister, and she had mental illness since she was a little child, she said. After being accepted, the therapy initially had success. She was raped, though, while residing at the facility. Despite the opposition from her family, Ophelia decided to give birth. Marta made the decision to give the baby to the midwife when she passed away while giving delivery. The infant had a mark on his palm, and even though Marta was aware that he was weak at birth and required care, she chose to ignore him and place him for adoption. Pablo would never be able to forgive Martha for leaving him and his mother behind. She had the ability to assist, but she opted not to. Martha was willing to risk her life to save her husband and daughter, even though she acknowledged that she deserved to die for her prior transgressions. Meanwhile, it is also made known that Jose, the elderly retiree who offered to die, was the rapist. All of Pablo's and his mother's suffering was his fault. Perhaps Ophelia wasn't his lone error, perhaps he had ruined countless other lives as well. Unexpectedly, the door to another room opened just as Marta was about to pass away. When the delicious dinner was served to the company, Armando wasted no time in gorging himself. In an instant, Simon found a dagger concealed in the meat with a note on it demanding that they kill the person of their choice. Armando was prepared to stab Marta to stop the game with just ten minutes remaining. In a struggle, Esteban stabbed Armando while defending his wife. Armando accepted to be stabbed once more to stop the game as he was losing blood. After receiving a stab wound to the chest, Armando passed quite quickly. They discovered they had entered a labyrinth when a door suddenly opened. While Teresa and Simon chose a different path, Esteban and his family fled for their life. Simon and Teresa split up, yet he kept looking for Teresa. Teresa eventually found her way out of the maze but was hit by a car. Simon, also known as Pablo Vega, was identified as the driver of the vehicle. Pablo was motivated by vengeance despite Teresa's cries for help and her resemblance to her son. Teresa was run over by his automobile, exactly as his adopted mother had been by Teresa. In the meantime, Esteban, Marta, and Lupe located a boat and boarded it to leave the maze. They permitted Pablo, Simon, to board the boat after spotting him. They were relieved to believe they had managed to flee the craziness, but Marta sensed something was wrong with Simon the instant she saw the mark on his arm. Knowing that Marta had saw the birthmark on his hand, Pablo raised his gun and leveled it at her. He challenged Marta and Esteban to a round of Russian roulette, and if they didn't play fairly, he threatened to shoot Lupe. Even though Marta had the gun in her hand, she was unable to shoot her husband. Pablo slowly began to divulge each of Esteban's repulsive secrets. Lupe was not the youngest girl he had abused. He had also mistreated his own daughter in addition to Lupe's classmates. Lupe said that was true, but Marta didn't want to accept it. Marta didn't shoot her husband even though she knew he was a pitiful pervert who deserved to die. However, it did not take Esteban long to shoot Marta. Marta had sheltered her husband all of her married life, only to learn that he could abandon her at any time. Lupe's parents were shocked when Pablo requested that she speak with the gunman. As evidence that she had planned with Pablo to exact revenge on her parents, Pablo gave Lupe the gun. After being abused, she felt empty and was always plagued by pain that couldn't be explained. Her father was to blame for her misery, but she didn't recognize this until she met Pablo. Esteban was not involved in the girl's rape, Marta argued in defense of him. The fact that the girls were minors was overlooked in her desire to think that the interactions were voluntary. Perhaps she chose to put the blame for everything on the girls he assaulted because she was terrified of losing her status. Lupe holds her gun up to her father but she is unable to press the trigger. Pablo assisted her in doing so and killed Esteban with a shot. For Marta, they had a unique arrangement. Pablo put Ophelia to a mental hospital and subjected her to shock therapy because Marta was unconcerned with the suffering that Ophelia had to go through there. Finally, Pablo and Lupe are in the room where it all started and watch the sun go down. Thank you for watching.